Welcome to Operation Research. This video contains the reflection spot. So if you really wish to get the maximum out of this video, I will recommend to keep ready your pen and paper and whenever certain activity is given, pause the video and perform the activity. Also do not forget to subscribe this channel. At the end of this video, you should be able to determine the basic feasible solution for unbalanced transportation problem using least cost method. So what is an unbalanced transportation problem? Unbalanced transportation problem is one where demand and supply are not matching to each other. And we use certain strategies to make it balanced and that we will see with the help of one example. We are going to use the least cost method to get the basic feasible solution for the problem. So here is an example. There are three factories located at different locations supplying the products to the various four retail agencies. The cost of unit transportation, so cost of unit product transportation is given in the following matrix. And we have been asked to determine the total transportation cost with the help of least cost method. Now, what is the given in this problem? So there are three factories, F1, F2, F3, which are supplying products to these four retail agencies, A1, A2, A3, A4. And cost of transporting one product from F1 factory to this A1 agency is one. And likewise, the cost of transport from F1 to A2 is 9. And so is the remaining things. One more information is given that F1 is able to produce 50 number of products. F2 is able to supply 100 number of products. And F3 is able to supply 150 number of products. And they call it as a supply. Whereas this A1 has a demand of 100, A2 has a demand of 60, A3 has a demand of 50 and A4 has a demand of 50. Now, what is the total number of supply available with us? It is the summation of these three figures which gives me a 300. Whereas the total requirement is of only 260. So I have a 40 numbers of goods which are surplus and that is why this problem became an unbalanced problem because these two figures 260 and 300 do not match with each other and there are 40 surplus products with us. So we cannot use our regular least cost method rather we have to modify this matrix to use the least cost method. So what we are going to do, we are going to add this dummy column, right? Now we have added the column because the supply was greater than the demand. If demand would have been greater than the supply, then we would have added the one extra row. So this is a dummy kind of an requirement that we have created and we have assigned a 40 number over here so this total becomes equal to 300 and this total also becomes 300 now we have assigned zero cost zero transportation cost right in all this dummy column so this total becomes 300 now i have modified this matrix so as to use the least cost method the unit transportation costs are mentioned in the one corner so that we can utilize the space for the making the allocations now how do we apply this least cost method and get the allocations now look in this particular matrix right and look for the least cost which is the minimum cost now here we can see that there are three zero cost which are one and the same right so i can allocate 40 numbers of good over here now i have allocated it randomly because i can allocate it over here also over here also over here also so okay so i have randomly allocated this 40 over here why because i am only having the demand of 
40 and the supply is also available it is more than 40 so when i allocate 40 over here right so this will reduce to 60 and this will be exhausted right so the total demand is fulfilled so what i will do i will put cross over here because i don't need to make any further allocation at these places now i will not consider this column because it has exhausted now out of remaining columns i will look for the minimum cost now i have minimum cost at two places one over here and one over here right again the total demand is here it is 100 but supplies of only 50 and here the demand supplies of 150 and the, the demand is of 50 so randomly i can allocate at any one of the places so i will allocate 50 over here so once i allocate 50 number of goods in this cell so this particular demand will be fulfilled by 50 and there is a still demand to the 50 number of units and this supply will be exhausted so as this has become zero i will not able to allocate anything in this row so i have marked the cross now out of remaining matrix what is the minimum cost so again the one is the minimum cost so i i can and how much i can allocate over here because i have only demand of 50 and available is of 150 so if i allocate 50 over here what will happen it will be demand will be completely fulfilled right and this 150 will reduce to 100 and this particular total column will be exhausted so i will cross mark a cross over here now out of this remaining matrix right where there is no cross what is the minimum cost so out of this the minimum cost is 12 and how much i can allocate i can allocate 60 over here because the demand is of 60 and supply is also, is also of 60 so once i allocate 60 over here what will happen so this will be reduced to zero right and i will mark the cross and this uh, total demand is also fulfilled right so this will become zero so i can even cross mark over here now there are only two cells are remaining and which are having the supply of 100 and the demand is also of an 100 so we don't have much choices but we will allocate the remaining units over here right and it will fulfill the demand and supply now here is a question for you whether all the constraints are satisfied or not pause the video and try to give the answer to this question i hope that you must have given a try to see whether we are satisfying the supply constraint and demand constraint so let us see what are the row constraint or column constraint so what is a row constraint that it should satisfy all the supply constraint so 50 over here and the summation at particular this row should be equal to 50 so it is satisfying this particular row constraint again this 60 plus 40 gives me 100 right so it satisfies this row constraint and over here 50 plus 50 plus 50 gives me 150 so again it is satisfying this particular row constraint now looking for the columns so 50 plus 50 gives me 100 so it satisfies this constraint 60 equal to 60 50 equal to 50 50 equal to 50 and 40 equal to 40 so we can say that all the row constraint and all the column constraint have been satisfied now let us try to calculate the total transportation cost so how do we calculate the total transportation cost so now look at the sales which have an allocations so what is the meaning of this 50 that i am supplying 50 number of goods from factory 1 to destination a1 so and the unit transportation cost that is cost required to transport one unit from f1 to a1 is given by 1 so what will be the total transportation cost 50 into 1 
that is 50 into 1 plus plus so what is the next allocation next allocation is the 60 into 12 plus 40 into 0 now it doesn't have much meaning because ultimately it will go to the 0 but we have to consider it because it is having a dummy column plus 50 into 14 plus 50 into 1 plus 50 into 23 and that gives a total cost of 2670 so this is the minimum cost with the help of least cost method now we need to verify whether the obtained solution is optimum or not with the help of modi method and you can find that method in another video made by me and that video link is available in the description section thank you